In today's video, we're going to be talking about stacking silver and gold and not allowing yourself to be controlled by the fear of missing out on the stacking opportunity. And I'm also going to be going live in the VIP club tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link in the description if you want to join. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and also gold, stacking the precious metals, and the fear of missing out and not allowing yourself to be controlled by emotions and going by logic instead. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. Happy Independence Month, everybody. Today, I wanted to talk about the fear of missing out and steps you can take to not be controlled by those fears. But really quick, the spot price of silver, as I'm recording the video, is $26.03, a red day for silver, down another nine cents, a little bit lower than it was yesterday. And gold is currently sitting at $1,802.20, up $5.70, a green day for gold, up a little bit from where it was yesterday. And if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know I talked about how silver was moving in a downward direction, gold was moving in an upward direction, and it was causing the gold to silver ratio to widen. Well, here we are today, and the gold to silver ratio is in the 68 to 69 range, when just yesterday it was in the 67 to 68 range. Fun fact. But of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today, I wanted to talk about the fear of missing out. FOMO, as they call it for short. This is something that a lot of people fall into, a trap that they fall into, and they end up getting ahead of themselves. And... It's not always about stacking silver and gold. It can go for investing in the stock market. It can go for investing in something else. It can go for something that has absolutely nothing to do with money, nothing to do with investing or currency or anything like that. It's getting ahead of yourself, biting off more than you can chew and being controlled into making emotional decisions rather than logical decisions. Now, this is something that I have personally always tried my best to stay as far away from as possible. I know it's very easy to fall into the mentality thinking that silver is running away from us, moving in an upward direction, even though it's a red day, moving in an upward direction because let's face it, over the last three and a half years during my stacking journey, silver was in the mid-teens. It pretty much bottomed out within my first couple months of stacking. It was sitting at 13, 14 bucks for a little bit of time, started making its way up. 15, 16 bucks, then all of a sudden it was 18, 19, then finally just last year it cracked the $20 mark, and then it just kept on climbing, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29 dollars. Of course we've seen a little bit of a pullback since then, but the point I'm trying to make is that silver has been on this upward trajectory as it's been. Silver is slowly but surely making its way up with a couple of dips drops and pullbacks along the way. That's normal. That's healthy. That's to be expected. But there's a lot of people out there who see silver moving in an upward direction. Or if they check the spot price and see that silver's in the green one day. All of a sudden, they start to get fearful. All of a sudden, they start thinking that now is the time to dive in. When here's the truth, at least in my opinion, that is. I believe it's always the time to dive in, regardless of what the spot price is doing, whether it's a green day or whether it's a red day. I personally believe it's always time to convert my dollars into silver, although on the red days, if I have the cash on hand, I will convert my dollars into a little bit extra silver. That's just what I try to do. 
Same can be said about gold, by the way. Although over the years I have prioritized silver way more, and I still do. But there's a lot of people out there who jump to conclusions based on what the spot price is doing today. And by the way, when the roles are reversed or when the shoe's on the other foot, it works the same way. When the spot price or the price of anything starts to move up and you're not done stacking or you're not done investing, you're not done buying in or converting your dollars in or storing value in that asset, when the price starts moving up, people start getting scared and diving in, trying to grab hold before it officially takes off. Because in their minds, it's going to the moon today, right now, this very second. Let me grab on and hold on while I can. That's what a lot of people think. But it works the opposite way too. That's why a lot of people make the emotional decision to part ways with their silver or their gold or whatever else that they have their dollars in, other investments or other stores of value. A lot of people make the emotional decision to part ways with whatever those assets may be out of fear. Fear of missing out on not cashing out while the price is still where it's at. Because once again, similar to the other people who think spot price or whatever the price is, is taking off to the moon right now, when the shoe's on the other foot, for the other types of people, they think it's going to zero today. They think it's going to zero right now as we're speaking. This very second, it's going to zero. Game over. Let me get out while I can. Let me cut my losses. See, a lot of people are controlled by the fear of missing out. And that's not something that I personally believe in. I've always felt that it's better to miss out on an opportunity than it is to be controlled by the fear of missing out. And for me, that's how I live my life. That's how I stack. That's how I invest. I'd be happy to miss out on an opportunity if it means I'm not controlled by fear and forced into making emotional decisions. I choose to stick to logic. The perfect example I can give was a little over a year ago, about a year and maybe three, four months ago. March of 2020, when everything collapsed, stock market crashed, spot price of precious metals plummeted, the entire economy fell apart. Silver got hammered down. Silver went all the way down to, I believe it was $11.90. Of course, the premiums were through the roof, but spot price got chopped nearly in half from where it was sitting a couple of days before. And a lot of people started diving in, even though the premiums went through the roof. People were desperately converting their dollars into silver at that time because they wanted to get their hands on as much as humanly possible. As did I but I chose not to. Myself at the time, I said, hey, you know what? I'm not going to panic stack with all this crazy chaos and mayhem going on in the world right now. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Number one, I don't know if this is gonna lead to my job getting taken away because we started seeing shutdowns all around the world. Keep in mind, this was in the early stages of everything. This is back when no one knew what anything meant. I didn't know if my job was going to get taken away from me. I didn't know if my income was going to get reduced. I didn't know if something was going to happen to me. I didn't know if I was going to have some type of financial emergency. So I said to myself, hey, you know what? Let me hang on to a little bit of extra cash right now. And when things begin to settle down, or when I actually begin to understand what in the world is happening right now, then I'll get back to stacking. And if I go a couple of weeks, a couple of months without picking up any new silver or gold, yeah, so be it. I'll just have extra cash for when I do get back to stacking. I can pick up where I left off and make up for lost time. Did I want to do this? Absolutely not. But I figured I was doing what I had to do. And I went a solid three months without picking up any silver. And it was a tough three months, by the way. Not just because I wasn't getting my fix of silver, but because everything was confusing, everything seemed to be falling apart, everything was 
looking really, really bad. It was a catastrophe. All of 2020 was a catastrophe. But the first three months of everything shutting down and falling apart, closing temporarily, closing permanently, it wasn't looking too good. But I held off. I stacked up the cash. I figured, hey, you know what? If something happens, I don't want to be caught in a bad position. If there's some type of emergency and I need currency on hand, I don't want to be the guy who has to go run on over to a coin shop really quick to convert my money back into currency because number one, that's a minor inconvenience. And two, and more importantly, it was 2020, everything was shut down. My local coin shop was shut down. I didn't have the ability to go run on over to the coin shop and trade my silver back for dollars. I could have put it up online if I wanted, but number one, I'd be sacrificing privacy, and two, that's time consuming. What if I need cash right now? What if there's an emergency? I had cash at the time. I was always a big believer in having a three to six month emergency fund. Most people say a one to three month emergency fund. But look what happened last year. As it turned out, we needed an 18 month emergency fund. Some of us. Because we're still not out of the woods. Point being is I didn't want to be controlled by the fear of missing out. I chose to stick to logic rather than emotion. I evaluated the situation. I thought about it rationally and objectively. And I said to myself, hey, you know what? I'd rather miss out on a little bit of silver for the time being than to acquire a whole bunch of silver and end up in a really bad position where I need the cash. See, I would rather have a little bit extra cash on hand than to have to dip into my stack and liquidate in order to get cash. But that's just me, and that's a prime example of something I did in my personal life and anybody who's been following my channel and watching my videos for a little over a year, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Because I talked about this while it was going on. I said I'm hanging on to the cash right now. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not proud to call myself a cash stacker. But I don't know what the near future holds. So I'm just going to play it safe. I don't know how long this is going to last. Everybody was saying, oh yeah, 14 days, 14 days. <laughs> yeah, 14 days. That turned into 14 weeks. And guess what? That turned into 14 months. So who knows? If something bad were to happen, if I were to end up getting my income taken away from me, and if I were to not have the ability to instantly liquidate the stack, who knows? There could have been an incident where I didn't have cash on hand to buy food, even though I've been food prepping. But like I said, I didn't know what the future was going to hold. So I chose to miss out on an opportunity rather than being controlled by the fear of missing out. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. And if you have ever fallen into the trap of being controlled by the fear of missing out, and it can go for anything, by the way. It doesn't have to do with anything money related. It could have to do with just your day-to-day -day life or it could have to do with an investment of some sort. Maybe it worked out well for you. Maybe you end up getting burned because of it. Maybe you bit off more than you can chew. Or maybe it happened, potentially just last year, when it came to stacking the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. Don't forget, I'm going to be going live tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout-outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And, of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial-free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please... Hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window.
Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. A bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? Have you ever been controlled by the fear of missing out? Are you still currently being controlled by the fear of missing out? Do you feel like you're getting ahead of yourself or you've gotten ahead of yourself in the past, maybe bitten off more than you could chew. Maybe you went to panic buying mode, like a lot of people did last year at the grocery store. Maybe you went into panic stacking mode and ended up really burning yourself on paying for those astronomically high premiums just to desperately get your hands on the silver, just because you thought that's the one thing that was going to happen before it completely took off to the moon skyrocket? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.